Hey Vera City, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl Vermo, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today, guys, I'm going to be reacting to Sonny Austin and the view. Try to trap him on Jesus. Instantly backfires. Wow. Guys, can't wait to get into this one. But before we get started, we have some amazing people watching us for the first time. If you are new here, hello, I'm Vera. I do reaction videos. We have two different artists on here. We have two different songs from all over the world. If this is something that you love, why not join Vera City? Hit the subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. Now that's guys, let's get started. Let's go. So recently, Jonathan Romy from The Chosen appeared on The View, and as you might have expected, it took approximately four seconds before they ruined the whole thing by bringing up race and politics. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish. Today we're going to take a few minutes to break down this interview and discuss the subtle and not so subtle ways they try to pin Jonathan Romy in a corner with their political opinions. So right off the bat, before Romy even comes out, this is the clip they chose to play from the show. Your obsession with what is clean and unclean was farther than God intended and does no good for anybody but yourself. We tithe everything so the can benefit. Down to the smallest plants grown in our gardens. And to that I say woe to you Pharisees. You tithe mint and dill and cumin, measuring carefully the last speck while neglecting what is actually important of the law. Justice and mercy and faithfulness. You blind guides straining out an act while swallowing a camel. Look at these people. What have you done to help? Now, after a few quick formalities, they immediately began discussing the central tenets of Christianity and how God's grace is irresistible, which naturally led to the old great debate about Calvinism versus Arminianism and limited atonement versus general atonement. Nah, I'm just kidding. They started talking about how Jesus wasn't a blonde haired, blue eyed white guy. You play Jesus. You? Um... Oh! <laughs> I was just saying, at least you're not... She doesn't know what to say. Oh! Yeah, the guy looks like Jesus. What did I just say? I said he looks like Jesus. Like, nobody has ever seen Jesus. We don't know what Jesus looks like. Nobody has seen Jesus, okay? But the picture we all know, or some of us know Jesus as... He actually looks like Jesus. Oh my God! Let's go! A blonde, blue-eyed Jesus, <laughs> finally. Yeah. Yeah. finally. Yeah. yeah, I think we've gotten a little more authentic to uh, who Jesus might have actually been. Jewish. Like. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. Was, he yeah. looks so I, I think much. what was fascinating to me is growing up, I always saw the blonde-haired, blue-eyed Jesus. Mm. Yeah. Right? And now I go to a black Catholic church and Jesus is, is brown. Yeah. Um, and, 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 I think you, it seems that you took such great pains to do that in, in this and to portray him as he probably likely was since this was the Middle East, yeah. right? Most people don't know that. Yeah. And he's also Jewish. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really understand the secular woke obsession with making this point. Outside of the left's open disdain for white people and desire to turn Jesus into some sort of DEI Santa Claus, uh, everyone knows Jesus was a Jew from the Middle East. We're not in seventh grade. You're not blowing anyone's minds here. And this is the point they're going to try to wedge here. They want to pin Romy into saying Jesus agrees with them on all these social issues and conservatives are weaponizing religion to hurt their opponents. But thankfully, he doesn't take the bait. So in the clip that we saw earlier, which shows Jesus speaking up for marginalized people, the poor, etc., uh, which is the Jesus that we love. Mm. Um, <laughs> Not everyone interprets that message the same way these days. Religion in this country even seems weaponized at times. Mm -hmm. uh, as a man of deep faith, which you obviously are, does that frustrate you at all? You know, in, in that clip, we see Jesus basically taking to task the Pharisees that have hmm. essentially perverted the law or, or, or taken the faith and made it about... The, the specificity in the letters of the law versus the heart of the law versus the, the community. You know, it was, they were taking great pains to follow the law at the expense of the followers. And wow. there was injustice in that. And, you know, anytime you see injustice taking place, um, Jesus is not going to be happy about that. And so I think, I think the fact that we, we see him speaking his mind about it, I think uh, he gave us a really tough example to follow you know yeah. this was an excellent sidestep he did here 
Uh, he didn't really take sides, but he corrected them in a very polite way. You know, I like mm -hmm. how they're saying religion is being weaponized while actively trying to weaponize religion. <laughs> I mean, even Joy Behar's modifier here that, uh, that's the Jesus we love suggests that there are parts or portrayals of Jesus they don't like. And I imagine it's probably the ones that focus less on the poor and marginalized and more on the uh, life and marriage issue. You know, it's funny that they don't discuss anything else from the Bible there. They're content to bring up blanket terms that they've fudged the meaning of so that they can include nearly anything they want. Because mm -hmm. after all, what's poor and marginalized in one of the richest and freest countries in the world? I think we've seen how loose the left is with those terms. But let me know what you think. Are you a Christian? Would Jesus be woke? Do you care that religious depictions of him may not be accurate? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Boy! It's, so he asked the question, he said, are you a Christian? I am a Christian. You watching this, are you a Christian? And what are your takes on this? Well, I'm a Christian, and um, about religion being weaponized, I don't know about that. But, like I said earlier, no one has seen Jesus. We don't know what he looks like and all of that stuff. But, of course, we have the Bible and everything Jesus did is right in the Bible. So, I believe the Bible and what it stands for. But, trying to bring it into politics. But, I would love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about this whole stuff? You know, politics and jesus and all of that <laughs> it's crazy it's just crazy i would love to hear your thoughts on this let me know in the comment thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed watching this please give it a huge thumbs up and please share this video and if you're new here join the game join viva city hit the subscribe button below turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Love you. Bye.